Welcome back guys, it's Cringe Perfect, Cringe Eaters here. We're back with the doctor patient relationship section. That sounds a little bit booky, but it's not in the SJT section, in the UK cat section. So now let's get straight into this. With me on the iPad, doctor patient relationship. This is no booky film or movie that we're watching. So now onto the second point, it says that doctors should not work with family members as it may hinder the treatment plan. Now you probably mentioned this to your family members that you're going to treat them when they're older and you're going to do all of that. It's something you cannot do because it's going to affect you. There's no two ways about it. For example, if you are a cardiologist and you see your mum on the operating theatre, without a doubt it would affect you. It might mean that you make mistakes in the procedure as you're really thinking about your mum. So it's imperative that if you have any relationships with the patient that you're treating that you immediately contact other members of your team to deal with this scenario. Now the third point is that a preference for the same sex doctors is allowed however it isn't awful if there isn't none and you tell one to come oh, that isn't what was requested. It's not awful if a male doctor is to come for the female who's requested a female doctor. The reason for this is that it could be the case that no female doctors are available and she wants to be treated but she only wants to be treated by the same sex it could be the case that her urgent scenario requires her to be treated by a man and if she refuses then she refuses her autonomy kicks in however it could be the case that that specific case she's willing to accept a man to come and essentially help her it says it's important to include patients within any decision making of the treatment plan it could be the case that if they are required to take five tablets a day and they're a truck driver, it could be the case that they're not able to do it. So by involving them within the treatment plan, you're able to effectively filter out which treatment plan, which method of treatment is best for them, which one would they be able to comply to the most. I believe there was a stat and I used this for the interviews. It was like 50% comply with the treatment plan and 50 don't. Now the importance behind this is that the NHS needs to ensure compliance because when the condition worsens, usually it would mean that the NHS has to spend more to recover or return them to their original state, whereas prior they'd be able to get treatment, potentially which costs less, but that's no longer the case because their condition has worsened. Now the fifth tip says that doctors must remain professional throughout the consultation and refrain from jokes with double and chunder. I don't do French. But essentially what he says is that double and chunder or and chunder or entender or if that's how you want me to say it um, is with two meanings. Two meanings. By this, I mean that, for example, if you are to make a joke about a person with one leg and they have one arm, they may understand it in a different way as if you're trying to implicitly mock them. That's the last thing you want to do. That's, trust me, that's one of the last things you want to do. Now, the sixth tip is that doctors can expect or expect. <laughs> can accept small gifts on the basis that it does not affect relationships between him and the patient. This doesn't mean that um, you're not allowed to accept chocolate because it could mean that the patient now trusts you and by you refusing the chocolate you are refusing to allow them to express the allowed love for you, not a dodgy type of love and um, this also may mean that you are able, is it, are you allowed to accept diamonds or gold? Yeah, my jokes are getting better, aren't they? But you're trying to remove that financial incentive to not affect the way that you're treating them in comparison to someone who's potentially poor. So that's where the prevention comes in and that's how you ensure justice for all members, which is like the fourth pillar of medical ethics. Now the sixth tip is that you do not assume anything about the patient's background. Now explaining this statement, you cannot go to someone, for example, who's my colour and say, how's the war back home at Yemen? It's, it's a sensitive thing. You shouldn't assume that they're from a certain country. Even though you have access to the database, the last thing you want is to make a reference to something that you're unsure of. Especially, for example, if I was a child then I left, how would I know? That sort of stuff. Now on to the seventh point. It's important that you hire a professional translator instead of selecting family members. 
as translators when it comes to big procedures. Big procedures that say heart conditions or chemotherapy or things around that topic. And the reason why it would be inappropriate to hire family members would be on the basis that the family member may be able to battle with the patient's opinions and in another language without you being able to understand and by hiring a translator it would be the raw opinions of the patient which potentially are their own opinions and they're not coerced by the family members so that's potentially one of the preventative factors in ensuring that the patient's able to get the treatment that they desire and not what their family desires. Now the second last point is that mistakes should be communicated with the patient and appropriately told to senior as at the right time. And by not telling the patient a mistake that has taken place, for example, in a procedure where you've uh, accidentally cut the wrong cord or you perforated a liver or something along those lines and it has meant that you have now paralyzed them and now you're saying that it happened by chance it'd be totally unacceptable on the basis that you potentially lied and deceived them and that by communicating this with the patient you'd be honest and you'd be following the guidelines of the GMC that's another benefit if you have very minimal time I have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips essentially I explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that I haven't really explained basically catch you guys on the other side why is it hard for me? Why is it hard for me? Oh.